Hello, Grade 8 children. Today I'm here to teach you Chapter 9 in your textbook that's about mass. What's mass of an object? The amount of matter the object contains. So you have done this in science class. So we'll look at what are the measurements and how we do questions related to mass. Now look at this one. The mass of a medicine pill is 80 milligrams and we can write this one as 80 mg milligrams. And what about this one? Mass of tea leaves in a packet is 250 grams and we can write that one as 250 grams g. Mass of a rice sack is 5 kilograms and we can write as 5 kg, kg or kilograms. Mass of a lorry is, we'll take 18 metric tons and how can we write down? We can write down as 18 t. T is for tons, metric tons or tons, same thing. Now, it's important. What are the units? Mg, milligrams. So, sometimes we write milligrams like that. Grams, G-R-A-M-S also okay. And kilograms, K-I-L-O-G-R-A-M-S. And metric tons, we can write tons, T-O-N-N-E-S also possible. So what's the relationship? We need to find out the relationship between grams to milligrams, kilograms to grams, like that. We need to know the conversion. But these are the symbols that we use for units for mass. Now we look at the relationship between units. 1 gram is 1000 milligrams, 1 kilogram is 1000 grams and 1 ton is 1000 kilograms. So you can write this one in this form as well. 1 gram is 1000 milligrams, 1 kg means 1000 grams and 1 ton is 1000 kilograms. Conversion of grams to milligrams. So grams is the bigger unit and milligrams is the smaller unit. So what you do? Bigger one to smaller one, we multiply. So what's the conversion? You have to multiply by 1000. So 5G, 5 times 1000, that's 5000 milligrams. 7 grams means? 7 into 1000, that means 7000 milligrams. So larger unit is grams multiplied by 1000. So what you do when you multiply by 1000? You put three zeros without showing that this is multiplied by zero. You can just put three zeros instead. So I can straight away write down this one is 4000 milligrams. 8g means 8 grams, 8000 milligrams. So make sure when you are multiplying by 1000 means put three zeros. Conversion of milligrams to grams. Now other way around. Smaller to bigger one. So what you do? You divide by 1000. So 7,000, you divide by 1,000, what you do? You get 7 grams. 14,000 milligrams, divide by 1,000, you get, here three zeros get cancelled out, you get 14 grams. So basically what you do? In division, remove three zeros. Remove three zeros, you get six grams. Eight thousand, eight grams. 
decimal point moves three places to the left when dividing by 1000. So what's the value? Here milligrams is there. So you divide by 1000 means move three places to the left. So what's the answer? 3.548 grams. In this one, 6034. Divide by 1000 means move three places to the left. 6.034 grams. Conversion of kilograms to grams. Kilograms is the bigger unit compared to grams. So you multiply by 1000. So 4 kilos, you multiply by 1000, you get 4000 grams. This one 5 kilos multiplied by 1000, 5000 grams. So what you do when you multiply by 1000? Keep 3 zeros. 7 means 7000 Grams. 9 is 9,000 grams. So decimal point moves three places to the right when multiplied by 1,000. So what is 7.5 kilos? 7,500 grams. So move three places to the right. Here 8.13 kg. I can write 130. So 8,130 grams. Conversion of grams to kilograms. Grams is smaller, smaller to bigger one. We need to divide by 1,000. So 2,000 grams. What we do? Remove three zeros. So divide by 1,000 means remove three zeros. So you get 2 kg. So 9,000 remove three zeros, 9 kg. 11,000, 11 kg. 13,000 divided by 1,000 means remove three zeros, 13 kg. Decimal point removes three places to the left. So divide by 1,000 means here 0 0.123, 0 0.38. 4, 5 kilograms. Here, grams is there. 1, 2, 3. So, 0 0.0647 kilograms. So, moves from here 3 places to the left. Convert following milligram values to grams. Milligrams is smaller units. Grams is bigger. So, what you do? Smaller to bigger, you divide. So here 7,000 divide by 1,000, 7 grams. 6,800 divide by 1,000, 6.8 grams. Here divide by 1,000, 5.780. Zero. Here zero is not important after decimal. So you can write 5.78 as well. This one divide by 1000. So move decimal place three places to the left. 6.178 grams. Here three places to the left. 12.45 grams. And here three places to the left. 0 0.318 grams. Convert following gram values to milligrams. Bigger to smaller. You multiply by 1000. So keep three zeros. Seven and three zeros. This is milligrams. Two grams means 2000 milligrams. 1.3 means move the decimal place three places to the Right, 1300 zero, zero milligrams, 1300. Here, 6150 milligrams. This one, move three places to the right, 
4,321 milligrams. Here, this one moves three places to the right, 870. So, 870 milligrams. Convert following kg values to grams. Bigger to smaller. So, you multiply by 100. You multiply by 1000. So 2 kg. 2 times 1000. 2000 grams. 3.2. 3200 grams. Here kg is there. 5.3. 5300 grams. 0.17 kg. 170 grams. Here, 0.743, 743 grams. Here, when you move three places to the right, you get 8 grams. Convert following gram values to kilograms. You divide by 1000. Now, at once, you should be able to do it. Divide by 1000 means move the decimal place three places to the left 2.175 kg here 3.7 kilograms 5.628 kilograms 714 grams move three places to the left 0.714 kilograms 83 1 2 3 0 0.083 kilograms and here 7 grams means move three places to the left 1 2 3 so 0 0.007 kilograms relationship between metric tons and kilograms we know one ton is thousand kilograms. So larger unit is tons multiplied by thousand to convert to kilograms. So three tons means three into thousand. That means three thousand kilograms. Five T means five tons. Five into thousand, five thousand kilograms. Put three zeros when multiplied by 1000. 40 means straight away 4000 kilograms. 9 tons means 9000 kilograms. Decimal point moves three places to the right. Here are 2.7 tons, 2700 kg. Here when you multiply by 1000, 5130 kilograms. So this is tons to kilograms. Now we'll look at conversion of kilograms to tons. Smaller to bigger. You divide by thousand. So 3000 kg divide by thousand. You get three tons. Three zeros get cancelled out. Seven thousand divide by thousand you get 7 tons. So larger unit is tons divide by 1000. So remove 3 zeros. So here when you remove 3 zeros, you get 16 tons. This is kilograms. Remove 3 zeros, you get 12 tons. Here what happens when you get decimals? Move this one, decimal place, 3 places to the left. So move 3 places, you get 0, 1, 2, 7 tons. Here, 1, 2, 3. And what about this one? You get 0 here, 1, 2, 3. You, have, you need two zeros. 2, 9, 3 tons. From here, 1, 2, 3. Convert following tons to kilograms. What's the method? Ton, tons is bigger unit. You multiply it by 1000. 
one, two, three. So 2,300 kilograms. 3.5 tons, 3,500 kilograms. This one, 0.74 tons, 740 kilograms. 0 0.035 tons, multiplied by 1,000, 35 kilograms. And this one, one, two, three, seven kilograms. When you move a decimal place, three places to the right, 2,150 kilograms. Convert following kilograms to tons. What you do? Smaller to bigger, divide by 1,000. Divide by 1,000. 0.327 tons. Divide by 1,000, 6.528 tons. Here, move decimal place three places to the left. You get 37. Here, 1, 2, 3. 0 0.0037. Tons. This one, one, two, three. So you need two zero, 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 two, nine, three tons. This one, three places to the left. One, two, three. One, two, three, six, four tons. Here, again, you need to put three zeros. One, two, three, four, eight tons. Convert two tons and 365 kilograms to metric tons. So this one is already there in tons. Two tons are there. So kilograms, this part, you have to convert to tons, 365. So two tons is already there. And 365 kilos, how you convert to tons? You have to divide by 1,000. So 365 kilos. When you divide by 1,000, you get tons. That means move the decimal place three places to the left. So you get T and here 0.365 T. So when you add it, these two, you get 2.365 tons. So you can do it at once. Two is separately there. And this one, move the decimal place three places to the left. So you get point. Three, six, five. Fill in the blanks. Here, several masses given. You have to write this one in tons and kilograms. This one only in tons. So what you do? You have to divide by thousand to get tons. Okay, so here, when you divide, you get 3.5 in tons straight away. But how you write separately? Three tons are there and 0.5 means how many kilograms? 500 kilograms. So you multiply by 1000. So you get three tons and 500 kilograms. This one Divide by 1,000, 6 tons and 450 kilograms. When you divide by 1,000, you can write 6.45 tons. This one, divide by 1,000, 2 tons and 123 kilograms. And when you divide, 2.123 tons are there. Here, divide by 1,000, you get 5 tons 
and 8 kilograms. And when you write in decimals 5.008. This one, when you divide by 1000, 12 tons and 540 kilos. In tons, 12.540 tons. This one, divide by 1,090 and 341 kg. Divide by 1,000, straight away you can write 9.341 tons. Convert following mass to metric tons. So what you do? Divide by 1,000. So straight away you can divide by 1,000, 2.870 tons. Here divide by 1000, 3.480 you don't need to write. Okay. And here divide by 1000, 5.148 tons. Here this one tons and kilograms are there. So you need to convert to tons. So 3 is there. So 3 other ones you Divide by 1000 kilograms to tons. So you get 482 tons. This one, 2t is already there. So 2 point. When you divide by 1000, you get 0, 4, 0, 8, 4 tons. 7t is there, tons, and then divide by 1000, you get. 319. 2t, so that means 2 tons are there. 7 kg, 7 divided by 1000, 0 0.007. That's in tons. Here, are 3 tons are already there. 15 kg, 15 divided by 1000, 0 0.015. So that's 3.015 tons. Convert following masses to kilograms. Multiply by 1000. Tons is bigger than kil kilograms. So multiply by 1000. So what you get? 3T means 3000 kg. 13T means 13,000 kilograms. 3T. 3T means 3 into 1000. 3000. 3,250, you can straight away write 3,250 kg. Now this one, 4t means 4 tons multiplied by 1,000. 4,000 and 75 kilograms. Here, 3t is there. So that means 3,000 kilograms multiplied by 1,000. 2.75 T means multiply by 1000, 2750 kilograms, 2750 kilograms. 4.075 tons multiply by 1000, 4075 kilograms. This one, 3 T means 3000, 3517. G. Write down the following masses in kilograms. Tons is the bigger unit. You need to multiply by 1000. So multiply by 1000 means move the decimal place three places to the right. 1387 kilograms. What about this one? Multiply by 1000. 2075 kilograms. Here, multiply by 1000, 8740 kilograms. Multiply by 1000, 3700 kilograms. Here, all these are in tons. So, multiply by 1000, 6003 kg. Mass of a lo lorry loaded with cement sacks is 27,400 kilos. 
write this in metric tons. How can you write in metric tons? You divide by 1000. 1, 2, 3. So 27.4 tons because you can divide this by 1000. Fill in the blanks. Mass is given in tons. Here tons and kilograms and this is in kilograms. First one in tons. So one ton is there. And 0.7 multiplied by 1000 means you are moving this decimal place three places to the right. So 700 kilograms. Now, how you write in kilograms, the whole thing multiplied by 1000. So, 1700 kg. This one straight away, it's easy to convert to kg and then take separately. 2.49 means multiply by 1000, 2490 kg. That means 2t and 490 kilos. Here this one given in both tons and kilograms. So 2t means 2.517 divided by 1000 means 0.517. Then how you write this one in kilograms multiplied by 1000. 2517 kilos. This one 60 means 6 point something. 84 divide by 1000 you get 0 0.84. 0 0.084. Here when you multiply by 1000 6,084 kilos, 6,084. Now this one is given in kilos. So divide by 1,000, you can write 7.350 tons. And when you separate it, we get 7 tons and 350 kilos. This one divide by 1,000 you get 12.570 tons. That means 12 tons and 570 kilos. Now look at this question. Addition of masses with tons and kilograms. Mass of a lorry is 5 tons and 750 kilos. Lorry is loaded with cement sacks with mass 2 tons and 888 kilograms. Find the total mass of lorry with cement sacks. So you need to add it. So when you are adding, it's easy to write in a column. So we can write mass of lorry 5 tons and 750 kilos. Mass of cement is 2 tons and 888 kilos. Now we'll start to add. 0 plus 8 is 8. So you put 8 there. Then 8 plus 5, 30. But we write only the last digit and take 1 to the this side. So we write 3 and 1 to this side. 8 plus 7 plus 1. 8 plus 7 plus 1 is 16. So what you do? Put 6 and take one to the other side. Now you get 5 plus 2 plus 1 is 8. So you put 8 here. So when you are adding, so you get 8 tons and 638 kilos. So you can write total mass is 8 tons and 638 kilos. Add the following masses. Okay, so here start from the right hand side. 8 plus 4, 12. 1, you are taking to this level. 7 plus 7, 14 plus 1, 15. 1, 
taken to the other side. 6 plus 5, 11 plus 1, 12. 1 to this side. 4 plus 3, 7 plus 1, 8. So 8T and 252 kilograms. This one, 3 plus 2, 5. 9 plus 8, 17. 1, we are taking to this level. 8 plus 7, 15 plus 1, 16. 1, we are taking to this level. 4 plus 2, 6 plus 1, 7 and 1 there. So 17 T and 675 kilos. How we add these two? 8 plus 7, 15. We put 5 there and take 1 to this level. 8 plus 1, 9 plus 1, 10. Take 1. 9 plus 1, 10. 10 plus 4, 14. Take 1 here. 6 plus 7, 13 plus 1, 14. 1, take it here. 3 plus 2, 5. 5 plus 1, 6. So 64 tons and 405 kilos. This one. 8 plus 4, 12. 1, there. 7 plus 3, 10 plus 1, 11. 1, here. 6 plus 7, 13 plus 1, 14. Take 1 here. 10 plus 7, 17. Take 1, 9. 8 plus 1, 9. 9 plus 4, 13. 137 tons and 412 kilos. 8 plus 7, 15. Take 1. 10 plus 1, 11. Take 1. 10 plus 6, 16. Take 1. 10 plus 7, 17. Take 1 there. 3 plus 2, 5. 5 plus 1, 6. This one, addition. 9 plus 3, 12. Take 1. 9 plus 8, 17 plus 1, 18. Take 1. 7 plus 1, 8. 8 plus 4, 12. 1 there. 10 plus 1, 11. And 1 plus 1 plus 1, you get 3. 31 tons and 282 kilos. Look at this one. 8 plus 5, 13. 1 remaining. 10 plus 7, 17. 1, take it here. 8 plus 4, 12. 1 here. 10 plus 7, 17. 1 here. 3 plus 3, 6. This one. Similar way, 7, 7 plus 4, 11. Take 1. 8, 9, 10. 0 and take 1. 7 plus 7, 14. Take 1. 10 plus 6, 16. And 1 there. 4 plus 4, 8. 86 tons and 401 kilos. Now, this one. 7 plus 5, 12. 1 we take here. 8 plus 1, 9. 9 plus 5, 14. 1 there, 8 plus 5, 13, 1 here, 7 plus 3, 10 plus 1, 11, 1 here, 6 plus 1, 7 plus 1, 8. This one, 9 plus 3, 12, 8 plus 8, 16, 1 there, then 7 plus 7, 14, 1 here. 8 and 8, 16 plus 1, 17. 1 there. 5 plus 2, 7 plus 1, 8. Look at this question. Mass of a lorry is 18 tons and 290 kilos. Mass of rice sacks is 
16 tons and 750 kilos. Mass of another lorry is 20 tons and 380 kilos and loaded with rice sacks of 18 tons and 580 kilos. You are asked to find out mass of two lorries, total mass of rice sacks, total mass of lorries with rice sacks. So we'll first find mass of two lorries. So what's the mass of the first lorry? Mass of the first lorry is 18 tons and 290 kilos. Second lorry. Second lorry is 20 tons and 300. 80. So what you have to do to get the total we have to add it. So total mass we are adding this two. So 0, 0, 0, 9 plus 8, 17, 1 remaining, 3 plus 2, 5 plus 1, 6. And here 8 plus 0, 8, 2 plus 1, 3. So what's the answer? Total mass of lorries. 38 tons and 670 kilos. Now we'll look at the second one, total mass of rice sacks. Now we'll do the next part. So here we need to find out the total mass of rice sacks now. So what's the mass of rice sacks in the first lorry? That's 16 T and 750 kilos. What about the Second lorry, 18 T and 580 kilograms. So we need to add to get the total mass of rice sacks. We'll add it 0, 8 plus 5, 13, 1 remaining here, 7 plus 5, 12 plus 1, 13, 1 there, 8 plus 6, 14 plus 1, 15, 1 there, so you get 35. 35 tons and 330 kilograms. Now the third part, total mass of lorries with rice sacks. So from the first part we found out total mass of lorries, 38 and 670. 38 and 670. That's the mass of two lorries. What's the mass of total mass of rice sacks? Total mass of rice sacks. We found 35 tons and 330 kilos. Now we need the total of these two. So total mass of lorries, total mass of lorries with sacks. You need to add these two. Zero, seven plus three, ten. 1 here, 9 plus 1, 10, 1, 8 plus 1, 9, 9 plus 5, 14, 1, take it here, 3 plus 3, 6 plus 1, 7, so 74 tons, so what's the total, we can write 74 tons. Now we'll look at subtraction of masses in tons and kilograms. A mass of a lorry loaded with sugar is 12 tons, 380 kilos. Find the mass of sugar loaded if only the mass of lorry is 4 tons and 810 kilos. So that means subtraction. So this is the total mass of lorry with sugar, 12 and 380. Subtract the mass of lorry to get the mass of sugar. So when you subtract what you do? 0 minus 0, 0. 8 minus 1, 7. 
3 minus 8 you can't do. So you take 1 from this side. So 13 minus 8 you get 5. And here this is 1 now because you have taken 1 to this side. So here 11 minus 4 you get 7. So what's the mass of sugar? 7 tons and 570 kilograms. Subtract the following masses. 8 minus 5, 3. 1 minus 1, 0. 4 minus 8, you can't do. You take 1. So when you take 1, there are 14 minus 8, 6. Now, what's this number? 6. 6 minus 3, you get 3. This one? 4 minus 7, you can't do. 14 minus 7, that's 7. Now it's 0 now. This is 0 minus 0, 0. What is this one now? 6. So you can't subtract. So take 1 from here. 16 minus 8, 8. Now this is 11. 11 minus 9, that's 2. This one, 5 minus 2, 3. 7 minus 1, 6. 3 minus 7, you can't do. You have to take 1. 13 minus 7, you get, what's 13 minus 7? 6. Now, it's 2 here. So, 2 means you have to take 1 from there. 12 minus 8, that's 4. This is 1 now. 1 minus 1. Nine minus four, that's five. Seven minus one, six. Two minus eight, you can't do. You have to take one there. Twelve minus eight is four. Now this is two. Two minus one is one. Three minus two is one. This one. This is subtraction. Five minus four, one. Seven minus two. 5. Here, take 1. 13 minus 6 is 7. Here, 2 minus 1 is 1. 8 minus 4, 4. 1 minus 0, 1. 7, you can't do. 17 minus 9, that's 8. Here, 0. 0 minus 0, 0. 3 minus 2, that's 1. 8 minus 3, 5. Here, take 1. 11 minus 2, that's 9. This is 4 now. Take 1 here, so 14 minus 6. 14 minus 6 is 8. Here, now 3, 2 minus 2, 0. 3 minus 2, 1. 9 minus 5, 4. Can't subtract here. Take 1. 14 minus 7 is 7. This is now 7. 7 minus 5, 2. 1 minus 1, 0. 3 minus 2, 1. So 102 tons, 741 kilos. This one, 8 minus 3, 5. Here, you need to take from here. One here, one there. So you get 13 minus 7, that's 6. Now what is here now? That's 9. Because earlier 10 and now 9. 9 minus 2, 7. Now what's this number? That's like 6. Because we took 1 there. 6 minus 4. 2 minus 8, can you do? No. So take from here, 12 minus 8, 4. Now 7 is there. 7 minus 3, 4. Again, you need 1 from here. 13 minus 6, 7. Now this is 12. 2 there. So 12 minus 4, 8. That means here, taken 1 from there, 7 minus 1, 
Look at this one. Mass in tons and kilograms multiplied by a number. So we'll look at this question. Mass of sand in a tipper lorry is 18 tons and 340 kilos. If sand is loaded five times by this tipper lorry, find the total mass of sand. So mass of sand in one lorry, it's given 18 tons and 340 kilos. So now five times we are doing that. So number of times is five. So that means we need to multiply this by 5 to get the total mass of sand. 5 times 0, 0. 5 times 4, 20. So 2 remaining. 5 times 3, 15 plus 2, 17. You take 1 there. 5 times 8, 40. 40 plus 1, 41. 4, you take it here. 5 times 1, 5. 5 plus 4, 9. So what's the total mass of sand? 91 tons and 700 kilos. We'll look at it again. So again we'll do it. Same question. 18, 340. How you multiply by 5? So this is like normal multiplication. So we'll do it. 5 times 0, that's 0. So you put 0 here. Then 5 times 4, 20. So 20 also we are putting 0 there. 2 we are taking here. 5 times 3, 15. And we need to add these two. 15 plus 2, 17. So we put 7 and take 1 here. Now 5 times 8, 40. 40 plus 1, 41. 4, take it here. 8 times, 5 times 1, 5. 5 plus 4. Addition is 9. So that's how you get 91 tons and 700 kilograms. Multiply following masses. So we'll do straight away. 3 times 4, 12. 1 there. 3 times 8, 24. Plus 1, 25. 2 is there. 3 times 2, 6. 6 plus 2, 8. 3 times 3, 9. Now do it. 4 times 8, 32. 3 here. 4 times 2, 8. 8 plus 3, 11. 1 there. 4 times 6, 24 plus 1, 25. You take 2 there. 7 times 4, 28 plus 2, 30. This one multiplied by 7. 7 times 4, 28. 7 times 8. 56 plus 2, 58, 5 there. 7 times 3, 21 plus 5, 26, 2 is there. 7 times 2, 14 plus 2, 16 and 1 there. 7 times 1, 7, 7 plus 1, 8. This one multiplied by 3, 3 times 9, 27. 2 there. 3 times 8, 24 plus 2, 26. 3 times 5, 15 plus 2, 17. 1 there. 3 times 2, 6 plus 1, 7. And 3 times 3, 9. Okay, we'll look at this one multiplication. 9 times 4, 36. 3 remain. 9 times 1, 9. 9 plus 3, 12. 1 there. 9 times 7, 63. 63 plus 1, 64. 6 is there. 9 times 9, 81. 81 plus 6, 87. 7 times 2, 14. 1 there. 7 times 1, 7 plus 1, 8. 
seven times seven forty nine and we are taking four here seven times one seven seven plus four eleven one there seven times two fourteen plus one fifteen here multiply by twelve so twelve times four forty eight four you are taking twelve times one twelve twelve plus four sixteen one is there twelve times five sixty sixty plus one sixty one six is there twelve times three thirty six thirty six and six you get forty two this one twelve times four forty eight four you take here twelve times eight what's twelve times eight ninety six ninety six plus four hundred so hundred means you are taking ten there so ten here twelve times two twenty four plus ten thirty four and take three here twelve times seven what's twelve times seven eighty four eighty four plus three eighty seven so eighty seven tons and four hundred and eight kilos multiply by nine nine times three twenty seven two there nine times seven sixty three sixty three plus two sixty five six here nine times four thirty six thirty six and six forty two four you take here nine times three twenty seven plus four you get thirty one now multiply by twelve again twelve times three thirty six we take three here twelve times two twenty four twenty four plus three twenty seven two there twelve times eight ninety six ninety six plus two ninety eight twelve times six seventy two seventy two and plus nine you get eighty one. Now look at this question. Mass of a metal bar is twenty two tons and six hundred and seventy five kilos. Find total mass of eight such metal bars. So that means you have to multiply by eight. So take the mass here twenty two and six hundred and seventy five. Multiply by eight. Eight times five forty four. Remain eight times seven fifty six fifty six plus four sixty six we need to add here eight times six forty eight forty eight and six fifty four five there eight times two sixteen sixteen plus five sixteen plus five you get twenty one two you have to add here eight times two sixteen sixteen plus two eighty so yeah eight one hundred eighty one tons and four hundred kilos this one find the total mass of flour loaded in a lorry in eleven trips if mass of flour can be loaded in a lorry is twenty four tons and Six hundred and seventy-five. So this is eleven trips. Means multiply by eleven. So twenty-four six hundred and seventy-five multiply by eleven. Eleven times five fifty-five. Five here. Eleven times seven seventy-seven. Seventy-seven plus five eighty-two. Eight 
we need to add 11 times 6, 66 plus 8. Now 74. 7 we need to take here. 11 times 4, 44. 44 and 7. 51. 1 there. 5 you need to take it. 11 times 2 is 22. 22 plus 5, 27. So what's the total? 271 tons and 425 kilos. Look at this question. Mass of a small car is 1 ton and 350 kilos. Six such cars can be transported in a vehicle with mass 18 tons and 680 kilos. Find the total mass of the vehicle with six such cars. So what's the first step? So mass of one car is one ton and 350. So there are six cars. So what's the mass of six cars? Multiply by six. Six times zero, zero. Six times five, thirty. Three, you have to add. Six times three, eighteen plus three, twenty-one. Two here, eight, six, one. 6 times 1, 6 plus 2, 8. So that means 8 tons and 100 kilograms. So that's mass of 6 cars. So we'll take that one here, 8 tons and 100 kilos. So mass of, what's the mass of the vehicle? Mass of the vehicle is 18 tons and 680. So now to get the total, this is the mass of six cars and this is the mass of the vehicle. Now total mass with cars is you have to just add these two. 0, 8, 7, 8, 8, 16 and 1 there. So you get 26 tons and 700. 80 kilos. Look at this one. Mass of concrete bar is 12 tons and 560 kilos. 12 such bars loaded in a lorry with mass 9 tons and 240 kilos. Find the total mass of the lorry with concrete bars. So first thing you have to identify what's the total mass of 12 concrete bars. What is one bar? is 12 tons and 560. So multiply by 12, 12 times 0, 0. 12 times 6, 72. 7, there. 12 times 5, 60. 60 plus 7, 67. 6 you can take. 12 times 2, 24. 24 plus 6, 33 here. 12 times 1, 12. 12 plus 3, 50. So 150 tons and 720 kilos. Now what's the mass of the lorry? 9 tons. 9 tons and 240 kilos. That's the mass of the lorry. Mass of 12 concrete bars, we found that's 150 tons and 720 kilos. Now, what's the total mass? You need to add these two. 0, here's 6, 7 plus 2, 9, 9 here, 5, 1, 159 tons and 960 kilos. Now let's take how we can divide the numbers. Okay, so let's take this example. Mass 8 tons with 450 kilos sugar is loaded equally in 5 lorries. This is the total. So equally divide into 5 lorries. Find the mass of sugar in 1 lorry. So you have to divide by 5. So let's take the 
mass. This is 8 tons and 450. Now we have to divide by 5. So how you do? 8 divide by 5, 1. What's the remaining part? So you get 5 right here. 5 times 1, 5. So what's the remaining part? 3. So 3 tons means 3450 kilos. So you need to add 3000 here. So when you add 3000, what you get? 3450. Now divide by 5. You get 5 times 6, 30. So here, subtract, you get 4. For 450, divide by 5, you get 9. 9 times 5, 45. And you have to put this 0. So you get 1 ton and 690 kilos. Now let's take this one. How you divide this by 6? So we write like this. And here 6 times 2 is 12. What's the remaining part? 1. So 1 here means, 1 T means 1000. So we need to just add 1000 there. So what's the total kilos there? 1100, 1848. Now divide by 6. 6 for 18, that's 3, that's 80. Now for 4, nothing, so 0. For 48, you get 8. 6 times 8, 48. So you get 0 there. So 2 tons and 308 kilos. This one, divide by 5. 5 times 3, 50. 3 remaining. 3 remaining means this is 3,000 you are adding. 3,645 kilos are there. 5 times 7, 35. 1 remaining. For 14, 5 times 3, 15. But we need to take 5 times 2. 5 times 2, 10. For 45. 5 times 9. So what's the answer? 3 tons and 729 kilos. This one divide by 6. 6 times 4. 6, 24. 3 remaining. So 3 means this is 3,000. So when you add 3,000, you get 3,000. 246 kilos. Divide by 6. For 32, that's 5. 30. So 2 remaining. For 24, that's 4. And for 6, that's 1. So what's the answer? 4 tons and 400, 541 kilos. Divide by 12 now. 12 times 3, 36. 1 remaining. 1 means this is 1000. Add it, you get 1560. For 15, that's 1. 12, 3 remaining. So 36, that's 3, 36. And here put 0 because there's another 0 there. So 3 tons and 130 kilos. Divide by 7 here. 7 times 6, 42. 2 remaining. That means 2,000. So when you add it, you get 2,849. Divide by 7. For 28, that's 4. 28. 
for 4, nothing. For 49, that's 7. 7 times 7, 49. So what's the answer? 6 tons and 407 kilos. 70 divided by 5. So here it's easy to write 3 zero, 7. No kilos are there. So 5 times 1, 5. 2 remaining. 2 remaining means 2,000. Now you get 2,000 kilos. 5 times 4, 20. And put 2 zeros there. So 1 ton and 400 kilos. This one divide by 500. 27, you can write here three zeros, kg. Nothing for this one. So here you get zero. So 27 remaining means, what's the value? 27,000 kilos are there. Now we'll divide by 500. So when you take for 27, it's nothing. 270 also nothing. 2,700. It's 5. So that's why it's 5 there. 5 times 5, 25. So 2,500. Again, when you subtract, you get 200. And this 0, 2,000. So how many 500s for 2,000? That's 4. So final answer is 54 kilos. When you are writing kilograms, it's easy to write in three places. So here 28 tons, you can write 28 and three zeros. Now divide by 250, nothing for 28. So 28 remaining. That's tons means 28,000. Now divide by 250. Here for 280, you get 1. What's the remaining part? 30. For 30, you don't have. Take 300. That's also 1. When you subtract, you get 500. 250 times 2 is 500. So what's the answer? 100. 12 kilograms. Now here 42 kg is there. It's better to write 0, 4, 2. With 3 places, it's easy to divide. Now we can write 0, 4, 2. Now divide by 9. 9 times 1, 9. 3 remaining. That means 3,000. You are adding here. Then 9 times 3, 27. 3 remaining for 34. 9 times 4, 36. So 9 times 3 again, 27. So 7 remaining. For 72, how many 9s? 8. 9 times 8, 72. So what's the final answer? One point. 338 or 1T, one, 1 metric tons and 338 kilos. Now, see this one is slightly different. Now, all these get given in tons, not separately tons and kilos. So, you can do normal division for this. So, here divide by 7, 7 times 6. 42. So 2 remaining. So 28. 7 times 4. 28. And here 0. Now here put the decimal place here. And for 2 that's nothing. So it's 2 here. 0 times this is 0. And you get the remainder. When you subtract you are getting 21 again. So I'll write 21 here. 
Now for 21, 7 times 3, 21. So the remainder is 0. So what's the answer? 64.03 tons. Look at this one. This is also given in tons. So divide by 11. 11 times 3, 33. Subtract, you get 2 here, 27. 11 times 2, 22. So 5 there. Now you have to keep the decimal place. Now take this 5, 55. 11 times 5 is 55. So what's the answer? 32.5 tons. Now we we'll look at examples. Example number one, express 8.756 tons in kilograms. Kilograms is smaller. So what you do? We multiply by 1000. 8.756 tons multiplied by 1000. So what you do? Move the decimal place three places to the right. So you get 8,756 kilograms. Example number two, express 3T, 850 kg in kilograms. So 3T will convert to kilos, that means multiply by 1000, 3000 kg. Now 850 is already there, so you can add these two. What's the final answer? 3850 kilos. Example number three, express 8.756 in metric tons and kilograms. So here, 8.756 tons. We know that it's 8 tons and 0.756 tons. Now, 8 tons is there. How you convert tons to Kilograms multiplied by 1000. So multiply this by 1000, you get 756 kilograms. This one express 3.5 T in kilograms. 3.5 T, you can write 3 T and half T. 3 T, how you convert to kilograms? Multiply by 1000. Half T also you multiply by 1000 to convert to kilograms. So what is the final answer? 3000 here. So 1000 divided by 2, you get 500. So 3000 and 500, when you add it, 3500 kilos. Example number 5, express 2758 kilograms in metric tons. So divide by 1000. So 2758 divided by 1000, you get 2.758 metric tons. Express 2225 kilos in metric tons and kilograms, both. So 2,225 divided by 1,000, you get 2.225 tons. So how can you write in both? 2 tons and this one multiplied by 1,000. Multiplied by 1,000 is 0.225 multiplied by 1,000. I can write this kg, 2 tons and 225 kilos. Example 7, express 3 tons and 675 kilos in metric tons. So 3t is already there. And 675 kilos, you need to divide by 1000 to convert to Tons. So 3t and 0.675t. So you can write as 
metric tons. Example 8. Complete the table given below. The mass in T and kg, the mass in metric tons only. So here straight away we can get tons divide by 1000. 2.4. Here divide by 1000. 5.85. Divide by 1000. 1 1.05. And here divide by 1000, 0 0.6. Now convert to T and kg. So here 2T and how many kilograms? 400 kilograms are there. 5 tons are there, metric tons and 800 50 kilos. One ton is there and 50 kilos. Here, zero tons but only 600. So, zero tons and 600 kg. Exercise 9.1. Express the mass as given below in metric tons. So what you have to do? Divide by 1000 because kg is smaller, tons is bigger. Divide by 1000 means move the decimal place three places to the left. So 2.35 metric tons. Here you get 5.05 metric tons. This one you are asked to write in metric tons. So here 3 is there. 875 you have to divide by 1000. That means 0.875. So you can straight away write 3.875 tons. This one shall we write at once. 13 tons are there. 7 Divide by 1000. Move the decimal place three places to the left. 1, 2, 3. So you get 13.007 tons. Express each mass given below in kilograms. Now other way around. So you have to multiply by 1000. So 7 into 1000. You get 7000 kg. Now we can put three zeros instead of multiplying by 1000. So 17,000 kg. Here, 3t, three, three tons when you multiply by 1000, 3000 kg, and there's 650. When you add it together, you get 3650 kilograms. Here, this is also the same thing, 2 into 1,000, 2,000 kilos plus 65. You get 2,065 kilograms. Multiply by 1,000, straight away you get 1,075 kilograms. Move the decimal place, three places to the right, 7,005 kilograms. Here, 4680 kilograms. This one, 3 fourths multiplied by 1000. 4 times 250, 250 times 3, you get 750 kilos. Question number 3. Express each mass given below in metric tons and kilograms, both ways. So take the first one. So here 1 T is there already. And here 0.275 tons means multiply by 1000, you get 275 kilos. This one, 2 tons is there. And multiply this by 1000, you get 25 kilos. Third one, 5 tons there. And multiply by 1,750 kilograms. 
this one seven metric tons there. So multiply by thousand, you get three hundred kilograms. This one seven tons is there. Multiply by thousand, you get three kg. Fourth one, the mass of a fully grown whale is approximately 19,000 kilos. Express this mass in metric tons. So divide this by 1,000. So 19,000 divided by 1,000 means just cancel out the three zeros. So you get 19 metric tons. Question number five. Place stick mark in front of the unit that is used to measure the mass of each item given below. A mango, that means one. So that's not normally milligrams. So you can put grams. If it's a big one, you can get one kilo, like not kilos. So we can take grams. A comb of plantains. So that's, you can measure in kilograms and grams. Or kilos. A bag of sweet potatoes. So that's like kilos. We can take kilos. A loaf of bread. A loaf of bread just a normal one uh, grams is suitable for loaf of bread. A lorry it's tons. It's a big one. 10 traveling bags in a lift. So this is only 10 traveling bags in a lift. That's like kilos. You can select kilos. Question number six. Complete the table given below. The mass of the given item in metric tons and here both metric tons and kilograms and this is kilograms. So first one done for you. This one, so you multiply by thousand, you get straight away kilos. 3850 kilos. Separately, how, how many tons? Three tons and 850 kilos. Multiply by thousand, 7005. That's in kilos. This means 70 tons and 5 kg. Now this is given 7 tons. That means 7 point. Divide by 1000, 875 tons. This one, you can multiply by 1000, 7875 kg. This one 60. So multiply by 1000, 6000 and 5. 5 kilos, 6005. Divide by 1000, you get 6.005. 6.005. Here, kilos given. 7,008. Divide by 1,000, 7.008 tons. And how you write separately? 7 tons and 8 kilos. Kg to tons, multiply by 1,000, you get kilos. So here, divide by 1,000, 14.375. Tons. And what's the separate one? 14 tons and 375 kilos. Example number one add 10 tons, 675 kilos, and 3 tons, 40 kilos. So it's easy to write in a column and then add 10. 675. 3T with 40. Now we add 5 plus 0, 5. 7 plus 4, 
11. 1, you keep and 1 take. 6 plus 1, 7. Here, 3 and 1. So, what's the answer? 13 tons, metric tons and 6, 715 kilos. Exercise 9.2, express the answer in metric tons and kilograms. So, you have to add it. 0, 8 plus 2, 10. 1, you can take it out. 7 plus 1, 8. 8 plus 6, 14. 1, take it here. 2 plus 1, 3. 3 plus 1, 4. This one, 5 plus 5, 10. 1, you take it here. 6 plus 7, 13. 13 plus 1, 14. 14 plus 5, 19. 1, we need to take here. 4 plus 2, 6 plus 1, 7. Now add these 3. 6 plus 3, 9. 9 plus 1, 10. So 10 TN, 790 kg. Now you have given the other way around. It's better to write in a column. T and kg. 10, 225. 6, 705. So you need to add this. 5 plus 5, 10. 1 remaining and you get 3. 7 plus 2, 9. 6 here, 1. So 16 T and 930 kilos. This one, write in a column T and kg, 150 here, 600. 50. 40 here, 460. When you add it, 0, 6 plus 5, 11. 1 there. 7 plus 4, 11. 1 here. 5 plus 4, 9. 1. So what's the answer? 191. 191 T and 110 kilos. Question number two, the mass of a grown elephant is 4.75 tons. The mass of a baby elephant is 2,025 kilos. Express the mass of the baby elephant in metric tons. So what you have to do, divide by 1,000. 2,025 divided by 1,000, you get 2.025 metric tons tons. Second one, find the total mass of both elephants in metric tons. That means you have to add it. So T and kg. This is all in T's. So we can write what's the mass of grown elephant? 4.75. This one 2.025. It's easy to write in a column. So so that the decimal point is in one column. Now add it, you can put zero here. When you add it, you get five, seven, seven, four plus two, six. So 6.775 tons, metric tons. Third part, express the total mass of both elephants in kilograms. So how you convert this to kilograms? Multiply by 1000. So move the decimal place three places to the right 6775 kilograms. Question number three A lorry of mass 3 tons and 450 kilos is loaded with 2 tons and 700 kilos of sugar and 4 tons of rice. Find the total mass of the lorry with the goods loaded in it. So that means we have to add all three masses. So total mass, we can add it. T, kg, it's easy to write in a column. A lorry is 3 and 450. And sugar, 2 tons and 700. And rice, 4 tons. So you can put 3 zeros there. Now when you are adding this, 
zero, five. Seven plus four, eleven. One, you can take it here. Four plus four, eight. Eight plus two, ten. So what's the total mass? Ten tons and hundred and fifty kilos. Exercise 9.3, subtract the following. So what's the rule when you subtract? Normal subtraction. So 0 minus 0, 0. 0 minus y you can't do. You have to take from here and here. Now this is like 10. 10 minus 5. 5. Now what's remaining here? 9. 9 minus 7, 2. Now you have taken 1 there. So 4 minus 2, you get 2. This one, 0 minus 0, 0. 5 minus 5 also 0. You can't subtract 6 from 3. So you have to take 1. So 13 minus 6, that's 7. So this becomes 3. 3 minus 1, you get 2. Now again subtraction, it's easy to write in a column. T and kg. 250, 650, 150 and 105. Now we'll subtract. Here you have to take 1 from here. 10 minus 5 is 5. Now the remaining part is 4. 4 minus 0, that's 4. 6 minus 1 is 5. 0 minus 0, 0, 5 minus 5, 0, 2 minus 1, 1. This one, T and KG, 60, you can put three zeros there, 25 and 150. You can't subtract here, 0 okay, but here you have to take 1 from here. That means 10. 10 minus 5, 5. This remaining part is 9 now. 9 minus 1 is 8. Now what's this number? That's 9. 9 minus 5, 4. This is 5 now. 5 minus 2, 3. So 34 tons and 850 kilos. The mass of a tin of milk powder is 500. That's the total weight. The mass of the empty tin is 50. So they are asking what's the mass of the milk powder in such a tin in grams. Express this mass in kilograms as well. So here first you need to find out what's the mass of total tin with milk powder. Mass of tin with milk powder. That's 500 grams. What's the mass of the empty tin? Mass of tin is 50 grams. So what's the mass of only milk powder? You need to subtract. So mass of milk powder Subtract these two, you get 450 grams. Second part, a container is loaded with 1000 such tins of milk powder. Write the mass of these 1000 tins in kilograms and express it in metric tons. Here, you are asked to write this one also in kilograms as well. So what's the kilograms value? You divide by 1000, 0 0.45 kg. Now in the second part, what's the mass of a tin? Tin with milk powder? 500. So 1000 such tins are there in the container. So total mass of Thousand tins 
this one that's 500 grams Five hundred grams multiplied by thousand, you get five and how many zeros? One, two, three, four, five. So that's five hundred thousand grams, but you need to express in kilograms. Divide by thousand, that means five hundred kilos and express it in metric tons you have to divide that by thousand again so when you divide by thousand so here we'll divide this by thousand so what's the value move three places to the left so 0 0.5 metric tons exercise 9.4 simplify the following Multiplication. So what you do? Normal multiplication. 5 times 0, 0, 0. 5 times 2, 10. So you put 0 and take 1 here. 5 times 0, 0 plus 1, 1. 5 times 6, 30. 3 remaining. 5 times 1, 5. 5 plus 3, 8. This one, 4 times 5, 20. 2, you write here. 4 times 6, 24 plus 2, 26. 2 there. 4 times 4, 16 plus 2, 18. 1 there. 4 times 5, 20. 20 plus 1, 21. 4 times 6, 24 plus 2, 26. 2 there. 4 times 1, 4. 4 plus 2, 6. Multiply by 3. 3 times 5, 50. 1 you take here. 3 times 4, 12. 12 plus 1, 13. Take 1. 3 times 2, 6 plus 1, 7. 3 times 3, 9. Multiply by 12. It's easy to write. Other way around. This is T, this is kilograms. So we'll multiply 12 times 5. So what you do? 60. 6 there. 12 times 2, 24. 24 4 plus 6, 30. 3 here. 12 times 3, 36 plus 3, 39. 3 we take here. 12 times 6. 72. 72 plus 3, 75. 7 you take. 12 times 1, 12. 12 plus 7, 90. So this one, 5 tons, 450. Multiply by 25. 25 times 0, 0. 25 times 5, 125. So you write 5 and take 12. 25 times 4, 100. 100 plus 12, 112. So you t put 2 and take 11 there. 25 times 5, 125. 125 plus 11, 136. This one multiplied by 50. So what you do? So we can just multiply by 50 and then put a decimal point. So how you multiply by 50? 0 and Multiply by 5. 5 times 5, 25. 2 remaining. 5 times 4, 20. 20 plus 2, 22. 2 remaining. 5 times 6, 30. 32. Now put 1 decimal place. So the answer is 3,225 tons.
this one multiplied by 25, 27.3 multiplied by 25. So first you can multiply by 20 and 5 and then add it as normal multiplication. If you can't multiply with two digit numbers, it's better to write 20 and 5 and then think about the decimal place. So 0 multiplied by 2, 6, 14 and 2 times 2, 4, 4 plus 1, 5. Multiply by 5, 5 times 3, 15, 1 remaining, 5 times 7, 35 plus 1, 36, 3 remaining, 5 times 2, 10, 10 plus 3, 30. When you add it, you get 6825. Now think about this decimal place. So you have to keep one place here. So what's the answer? 682.5 times. Question number two. The approximate mass of a car is 1 ton and 200 kilos. Express the approximate mass of 10 such cars in metric tons. So what you have to do, one car is this much, you multiply by 10. So 1 ton and 200 kilos multiplied by 10. So what you do, put 0, 10 times 0, 0, 10 times 0, 0, 10 times 2, 20. So you put 0 and you are taking 2. 10 times 1, 10, 10 plus 2, 12. So 12 tons. So what's the weight? 12 tons. Second part, the mass of a vehicle which transports these 10 cars is 20 tons. Accordingly, express the total mass of the vehicle with these 10 cars in metric tons. So what's the total mass? Is the sum of 10 cars, that's 12t and what's the vehicle? Vehicle is 20t. So the sum. Sum is 32 tons. So you can write 32 tons is the final answer. Example number one. A lorry had to make seven trips in order to transport a quantity of rice of mass 66.5 tons. If the lorry carried an equal amount of rice on each trip, find the mass of the rice it carried on one trip. So seven trips is this much. So to find out the mass for one trip, you need to divide this by seven. So you can find out mass of rice for one trip is equal to total mass is 66.5 tons divided by how many trips? 7 trips. Now we'll do long division. 66.5 divided by 7. 7 times 963, 3 remaining. So here you have to put the decimal point for 35, that's 5. So you get 0. So that means 9.5 tons for one trip. Exercise 9.5, simplify the following. So divide by 5. So I'll do, so this is T, this is KG, 200. So we'll divide this by 4. 4 times 1, 4. 1 remaining. 1 remaining means this is 1000 kilograms. So what's the total here? 1200 kilograms there. So now divide by 4. 4 times 3. 12 and you have to put two zeros. So what's the value? 1 T and 300 kilos.
this one 12t divided by 5. So you can just divide this by 5. This is not in kilos and tons. So you can straight away divide by 5. 5 times 2, 10. Now you have to put a decimal point for 20. That's 5 times 4. So you get 2.4 tons. 14 tons and 500 kilos divide by 5. So we'll divide 5 times 350. So you don't 5 times 2, 10. 4 remaining. So 4 tons means 4,000. So you need to add 4,000 here. So what's the total? 4,500 kilos are there. Divide by 5. 5 times 9, 45. Now put 2 zeros. So what's the final answer? 2 metric tons and 900 kilos. Now this one, 15 tons divided by 200. So here I can write 15 tons and 0 kilos divided by 200. So nothing there. So 15 tons is there. So when you take it here, you get 15,000 kilos. Now divide by 200. So you get 4,500. How many 200s are there? So 200 times 5,000. So 200 times 5,000, so 7, 7, you get 1,400. Then again, 1,000 remaining. So how many 200s for 1,000? That's 5. So what's the answer? 75 kilos. 3 tons divided by 40. 3 tons. 0, 0, 0 kilos. It's better to put 3 zeros. Now divide by 40. So nothing there. So 3 remaining means 3,000. So here we are adding 3,000 there. So the total is 3,000. Now divide by 40. For 30 nothing. For 300 this is like 6 7. 7 is 280. So we can take 7. 280. Now remainder is 20 and when you take this one, so how many 40 is for 200? That's 5. So the answer is 75 kg. This one, 17 t and 200 kg. Divide by 8. 8 times 2, 16. So 1 remaining. So 1 means 1000 there. So you have to add 1000 to that. So altogether 1200. 8 times 1, 8. 4 remaining. For 40, that's 5. So 40 and you need to put another 0. So this is 2 tons and 150 kilos. So we covered all theory related to mass. So we did milligrams, grams, kilograms and metric tons. And in order to express a mass given in metric tons in kilograms, the quantity given in metric tons needs to be multiplied by in order to express a mass given in kilograms in metric tons, the quantity given in kilograms need to be divided by 1000. So when you convert smaller one to bigger one, you divide. Bigger one to smaller one, you multiply. So practice all exercises and examples and thorough with the mass unit.